You may have heard a little black dress is always in style, but there's extra reason a lot of people are wearing the LBD this week. And Haley Boder is a marketing specialist with MSA United Way, and she's joining us now. Haley, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for being here, Haley. Yeah. Tell us about the little black yes. dress campaign for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, so did you know that tonight one out of five children will go to bed hungry in our community? This is just one example of poverty in Bismarck, Mandan. So, um, individuals wear the same black outfit for four consecutive days. This gives an opportunity to raise awareness for people living in poverty. So teams get together and they have some fun competition this week. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everyone will be wearing the same black dress. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's kind of a fashion statement. Yeah. And like Jeff said, we are very, you know, blessed that we can choose to be part mm -hmm. of this. But for some people, that is their reality. Yeah. Um, at the end of the week, from what I understand, you donate your dress. Then. Yes, we do. You can drop it off at our office by September 25th, and then those will be dry cleaned and donated to ARC. So. Okay. And how can people in our community get involved with the poverty awareness yeah. campaign? So they can go on our website and donate to any team um, if you go to our little black dress page and then go scroll down to find a personal campaign they can pick out of our teams that we have um, participating this year so and Thursday night you have a really fun yeah. event to kind of cap it all off yeah. imagine a world without poverty mm -hmm. and you can see some of those details on your screen right yeah. now what do you want people to know about this event and how they can still get involved yeah. so it's still open to the public 50% uh, of each ticket will go towards a sponsored child um, for a book for Dolly Parton Imagination Library. And uh, um, all those funds actually go to our three main programs that we do in the community. So our backpack program, which feeds 1,654 children every weekend, and Dolly Parton Imagination, Imagination Library, which sends out 4,000 free books every month to children from zero to five. And then we have Adopt a Classroom where volunteers go in, and read to those kids that need it most in those high poverty communities. Yeah. So. And Haley, you're mm -hmm. new to uh, the United Way, mm -hmm. right? How are you liking yeah. it so far? I do like it. It's very busy. Uh, keeps me on my toes, learning lots. So. Mm -hmm. And I was going to yeah. say, this campaign in particular, you look like you're participating in. What has it been like? What day are you on with this black yeah, dress? Yeah, we are on day three, and we base that. Um, off of mentorship today. So let's adopt a classroom where volunteers go in and make sure those kids are learning how to read and make sure they understand, you know, you're going to have to learn to read and understand words and yeah. that's how you're going to learn in life. So it takes mm -hmm. you far for sure. Yeah. Anything else you'd like people to know about this campaign or the United Way? Um, it's an awesome program. Um, on Thursday night, we have a live band and five different um, food appetizer stations. We base that off of five children's books that are most popular. Wow. Okay, I, I so, need to hear. Do you know which five? Uh, Dr. Seuss. Okay. We did uh, Green Eggs and Ham. Yes. Okay. Mad Hatter's um, Secret Garden. Mm. Um, just to name a few. So. Oh, love yeah. that. I love that idea. Yeah. It right. sounds like a ton of fun. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, yes, Haley, thank for being here today. Thank you. And for more information, once again, go to msaunitedway.org, Little Black Dress, or find MSA United Way, of course, on Facebook. But keep it here.